Mwishmiwa, you are on record. Your on record will have to use parliamentary language as much as possible. Chairman, you can be able to tell that this person has decided his way, that he is comfortable in doing this other things compared to what is supposed to be to be done and and uh, these issues of clothing i will combine it with the issues of that Mwishimi also asked about the churches and most the religious leaders why do they have a keen interest about this thing they have a keen interest because of the religion itself both the bible and quran the Almighty God has warned us in this. If you are a Christian, it's about Sodom and Gomorrah, same as to us, Kaumulut. That God warned those people who are doing things because God created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. So when you see religion leader, religious leaders on the front line, they are trying to protect what God has warned us not to do. And that's why you see most of them are always on the front line to make sure that we live in a good environment, in a conducive environment, as a community, as a family, as the teachings of the Almighty God. In your petition, you have specifically indicated that these people are getting foreign funding. Yes. You've stated it. Do you have facts? Ch Chairman, if you look at countries, the, the reason why we give examples we gave an example of Uganda, <clears throat> where the president came out openly and even said to the donors, we don't want your money. If your money is all about destroying our community, our society, we don't want your money. These things are pushed by various NGOs who are hiding, pretending that they are, they are helping or they are trying to listen to these issues to see the way they can help. There are those that are out there that are doing these things. We mentioned the issues of foreign funding. When foreign funding comes in, they cannot tell you directly, uh, this is what we are going to do. They'll give you the money and tell you, we want you to assist in this. But the people who are doing it will not just come straight to you and say, this is what we want to do. They will use other channels. Chairman, you've also seen in school, the curriculum. You've seen books. This has been in the news in most of the schools that you've seen books being provided to, to, to the children. And you see a picture of two men, and it is written, dad and dad. You, you know? And people have complained about these books. Parents have complained about this. The books are out, Chairman. I'm very sure members of parliament uh, in this committee uh, can attest to that. I'm seeing some nods. Yes. Yeah. So the nods tells you the books are there as parents. <laughs> So, Chairman, uh, there are countries that have uh, stood up in Africa very strong, and they said no to it. That's why we say we give an example of Uganda and those other 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 countries. Chairman, uh, I think there is a, a point he has left out on the signs because I'm very much interested in in knowing these signs so that I can even uh, do my research here in Parliament. <laughs> Chairman, you know I'm not an expert. <coughs> oh, hold on. Oh, just take note, hold on. There is another query from Honorable Susan. Yeah, just because you have been into the topic, I'm just wondering, is there a medical report that can actually tell us these differences in sexuality exist and for which one? Do we have anything like that in this country or elsewhere? Um, mine is uh, to ask you, you know we have a constitution which also has Bill of Rights. And uh, the Bill of Rights uh, talks of what everybody has their own rights. Do you see your petition conflicting with those Bill of Rights? Because uh, we've had people say, this is my body. Well, my what, my what? So, uh, could you be in this danger area of conflicting with the Bill of Rights? I believe the Bill of Rights stands for the right things, not the bad things. If the Bill of Rights uh, protects you because of you are doing the right thing, I don't see any any problem. Because in Kenya, uh, if an if an LGBTQ says that. Uh, 
uh, you know, they are sidelined, they are targeted, they have no freedom. Uh, chairman, you have never gone within this city to see a supermarket that has been divided into two. That this lane is for LGBTQ and this other lane is for ordinary people. All Kenyans shop under one roof. All Kenyans do everything together. So the Bill of Rights stands for the right things. Because if you say that there is a Bill of Rights, then if somebody says it's my right to kill somebody else, then that's not a Bill of Rights. But if the Bill of Rights is for doing right things, that is where we come in and say, look, we are all human beings. The Bill of Rights protects each and every Kenyan, but on doing the right things. Mwashimua, I'm still on the court case. Why were you taken to court? Why are you taken to court? Because you talked against this, you spoke against this, or why did this person decide to take you to court? To court and which people are behind this lawyer? Because I believe this lawyer must have been representing some people. I was taken to court uh, uh, by a lawyer representing representing the LGBTQ society in Mombasa, and he says that uh, during my demonstrations that we did in Nairobi and we did in Mombasa on issues to do with LGBTQ. They said that I whatever that came out of my mouth is a threat to them, that they can not be able to go outside. They will be killed. Because I said the Bible, if you're a Christian, and Quran, if you're a Muslim, the Bible says that Anybody who does such a th an act should be killed. I quoted the Bible. The Quran says the same thing. Anybody that does that thing should be disciplined. So because I mentioned the issue of God saying that anybody who does that thing should be killed, they said that I am, you know, my, my statement contributed to their lives being in risk that people now are targeting them, they want to kill them because they are LGBTQs. And that's the case that is in, in, in court. But uh, Chairman, I will share the details uh, with the committee. B both the Bible and Quran, the Almighty God has warned us in this. If you're a Christian, it's about Sodom and Gomorrah, same as to us, Kaumulut. That God warned those people who are doing things because God created Adam and Eve not Adam and Steve. So when you see religion leader, religious leaders on the front line, they are trying to protect what God has warned us not to do. And that's why you see most of them are always on the front line to make sure that we live in a good environment, in a conducive environment, as a community, as a family, as the teachings of the Almighty God. During my demonstrations that we did in Nairobi and we did in Mombasa on issues to do with LGBTQ. They said that I whatever that came out of my mouth is a threat to them, that they can not be able to go outside. They will be killed. Because I said the Bible, if you're a Christian, and Quran, if you're a Muslim, the Bible says that Anybody who does such a th an act should be killed. I quoted the Bible. The Quran says the same thing. Anybody that does that thing should be disciplined. So because I mentioned the issue of God saying that anybody who does that thing should be killed, they said that I am, you know, my, my statement contributed to their lives being in risk that people now are targeting them, they want to kill them because they are LGBTQs. And that's the case that is in, in, in court. But uh, Chairman, I will share the details uh, with the committee. So the Bill of Rights, you've talk, spoken about the Bill of Rights. I believe the Bill of Rights stands for the right things, not the bad things. If the Bill of Rights uh, protects you because of you are doing the right thing, I don't see any, any problem. Because in Kenya, uh, if, an, if an LGBTQ says that, uh, uh, you know, they are sidelined, they are targeted, uh, they have no freedom. Uh, chairman, you have never gone 
within this city to see a supermarket that has been divided into two. That this lane is for LGBTQ and this other lane is for ordinary people. All Kenyans shop under one roof. All Kenyans do everything together. So the Bill of Rights stands for the right things. Because if you say that there is a Bill of Rights, then if somebody says it's my right to kill somebody else, then that's not a Bill of Rights. But if the Bill of Rights is for doing right things, that is where we come in and say, look, we are all human beings. The Bill of Rights protects each and every Kenyan, but on doing the right things.